Paul Skeens has taken the major leagues by storm, and this was a guy that was very highly touted. Going back to his college days over at LSU, obviously the number one pick last year in the 2023 MLB draft. As soon as he was drafted, as soon as he won the national championship a few weeks before he was drafted, had a bunch of eyeballs on him as the next best top prospect. So far, I think it is safe to say that Paul Skeens is definitely live up to the hype and a lot more. No one could have foreseen this coming. Dude, you're really lying to yourself because no one could have seen Paul Skeens being this good. Now, definitely the most hyped up prospect since Steven Strasburg, I would say. He has a lot of Steven Strasburg asking him as far as like the mantra behind Paul Skeens and what is Paul Skeens and how he goes about his business and who he is to the Pirates organization, really the savior of the Pirates organization, a Pirates team that hasn't been in the postseason since 2015, I want to say. So it's been a long time for Pittsburgh in the postseason and looking to get back there. Maybe even this year, the Pirates in a wild card hunt is Paul Skeens the guy that can lead him over to the wild card hunts. They need some more offense, but Paul Skeens, Dylan on the mound. The title of this video is, This is Ruining Baseball. And I've talked about it on my channel. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it misses, but hopefully you guys do enjoy, I do have a, a rather aggressive take here with me as well as this right here is not helping the game of baseball, growing the game of baseball. I feel like the word growing gets overused a lot when we come to, you know, sports in general, like, oh, grow the game. It's just like, like I get it. We want to grow the game, expanding more fans and all that. But the game is what it is, right? You either like it or you don't like it. But regardless, as a fan of the game, you want to see guys go out there and make history whenever they have the chance to make history. And that's what makes baseball so special because I feel like baseball, more than any other sport, you see history being made on a daily basis that you just may have never seen before. Like you go to the ballpark and you don't know what could happen at any given game, any given play, pitch, whatever, you name it. Anything can happen on a baseball diamond. It goes to show you the uniqueness of baseball. Maybe I'm being a homer, a baseball fan primarily, but I think baseball is just such a special sport when it comes down to it. And you have these special moments like no hitters. A guy like Paul Skeens is throwing a no hitter in his rookie year, of course, only two months in the big league. He's at 100 pitches after seven innings, cruising along, only has one walk in the game, really no traffic on the bases that he's really dealt with. 100 pitches is kind of up there, but again, like, you have two innings to go, taking him out there in that spot. Derek Shelton, the Pirates manager, bad move. Bad, bad move. That's not what you want to see. And I do wonder if MLB would say anything or do anything moving forward. I, I know it's ultimately not really up to them. It's up to the clubs at the end of the day. They're not going to say, you better leave a guy in if he has a no-hitter. Like, with that being said, I, I do think that baseball needs to get away from taking guys out early when they learn a no-hitter. A perfect game we've seen guys get taken out after the seventh inning in a perfect game believe it or not it has happened and it has happened by my own team that is the internet was definitely having a meltdown rightfully so because that's just uh, not right that's not right for people that paid in attendance to see a guy throwing a no hitter like paul skeen one of the best pitchers in baseball arguably the best pitcher in baseball this season gets taken out just to protect him to protect him and there's no data backing the protecting part when it comes to taking out pitchers like at 100 pitches or less there's no data that comes out and says, yes, if you take a guy out at 100 pitches and he doesn't throw 25 more pitches, he's going to throw another five years in his career. No data to back that. Taking a guy out just for the sake of saving 25 pitches doesn't really make sense to me, especially when you have an historic moment like Paul Skeens was making. There's no need to take a guy out. He has to do anything. Save him an extra day in the rotation, right? Maybe, maybe he skips a day in the rotation, whatever the case is. There's alternate ways you could go around this. And taking him out in that spot wasn't the right move. We used to always see guys go 150 pitches. Back in the 1960s, guys used to throw 200 pitches a day. It, it was ridiculous back then. Like, I'm not saying they got to throw 200 pitches. But a moment like that, I feel like you should be able to go the full nine innings. And I've also been a part of a couple no-hitters myself. A complete no-hitter and a combined no-hitter. Uh, Jake Arrieta of the Chicago Cubs and a combined no-hitter by the Cubs. Both against the Dodgers at Dodger Stadium. I was... Miraculously, at uh, both of those games, definitely to Jake Arrieta, no hitter was definitely more cool because it is more special when it is that one guy going down to the wire. It's just a lot more pressure, I feel like, and a lot more tense. And a combined no hitter is definitely cool to be a part of. Like, I'll take a, a, a combined no hitter too if that's the game I sign up for, but doing it by yourself is definitely not more special. I'm not sure what MLB will do, but 
I hopefully we see the game get away from taking guys out to protect them, quote unquote, because to me, it's total baloney. Like I said, we've seen a guy get taken out with a perfect game on the line. Clay Kershaw, a couple years back, had a perfect game in Minnesota after seven innings and Dave Roberts took him out. Just ridiculous. That was the most unacceptable thing I've ever seen in my life. In fact, that was so unacceptable. I started a podcast immediately after he was taken out. I began my own podcast channel because I had to talk about it. And so I did. And uh, that made me start a podcast when Dave Roberts took out Clay Kershaw in the middle of a perfect game. Just completely baloney. And it sucks. It sucks for baseball fans and Dodger fans and, and everyone. Everyone alike. Because we want to see history. Because we don't see that stuff every day. I would be interested to hear your thoughts once again on the whole matter as we look ahead to Paul Skeen starting in the All-Star game.